human beings, listen up. This is an emergency, because this manga haul you're about to watch is insane in the membrane, as a certain band would say. Now, I know what you're thinking. Manga Sloth, you say, oh, your hauls are insane. Well, they kind of are, but this one is a little different. Why? It's 100 plus volumes with complete sets of old series, new series. It's got so many titles you may never have heard of. And I have multiple manga that are coming from specific places from special sources. One of them, as you can see here with my new Buy Family merch, is Udon Entertainment. That is right, the manga sloth is now a Udon ambassador. What does that mean? I'll show you in the hall. So let's get going, get into it, and let's look at some manga. Okay, let's get into it right away. It's so much to get through, so much to talk about. So make sure you pay attention because I will let you know what is going on each step of the way and tell you all the cool stuff that is happening. First manga we're showing off this month is Peach Boy Riverside Volume 13. I still enjoy this series even though I get confused a little bit on who they're talking about or what actually is going on. I know that might not sound great but when you're reading so many manga and stuff is happening and it takes so long for a manga to get out and stuff sometimes you get confused. Maybe it's me but I feel like the way some of this is going is just a tad confusing or maybe I'm just dumb. We have the strongest sage with the weakest crest number 15. 15 of these. Still with that newer page quality of Square Enix. Not a fan. Here is Mob Psycho 11. I, I know for a fact. I think it might have been last month or the month before. I showed 12. So when I went to put it away, to my surprise, volume 11 wasn't there. So here's 11. It was not sitting in the collection. So here it is now. We got Shadow's House number 5. A little skimpier volume. Yen Press. I didn't know, but there at the time of me saying this, there's like 15 or some of these out in Japan, so I'm wondering why we're getting them so slow. My wife reads this series, and I started watching the anime with her, and now it's not the same. It does differ quite a bit in some areas, but I'm really enjoying the anime, so if the manga, I'm assuming, is a lot better, definitely try this and pick it up. It's a, it's a really cool premise, and it's really different, and I like it. Here's another one that has taken a while to come out, Blue Exorcist 28. These have slowed down quite a bit. Now, for all my people out there who read Black Clover. Tell me, does this guy not look like he could come straight out of Black Clover as a villain? If you just like removed all this and said, who is this? I'd go, I don't know, but he's probably from Black Clover. Honey Lemon Soda 4. Still going with this. A nice series. If you want to know anything about any series or a little more detail, like always, talk to me in the comments. And if you don't want to know anything about any of these series, still talk to me in the comments. I reply to everybody. I love hearing from you. Ancient Magus Bride Wizards Blue number seven. It's hard to see there. These side stories are pretty cool and they definitely come out a lot faster than the main series. That's for sure. For all you Witch Hat Atelier fans, we got the kitchen manga from it. So this has more to do with cooking and stuff, but I'm sure you get your same characters that you care about and enjoy. So it should be a manga that you like if you like Witch Hat. I know my wife loves Witch Hat and is not a big fan of cooking based manga and doesn't really read them because she doesn't like them very much but this one she did like and I think a lot of it has to do with the setting the people so if you even remote like cooking you're you're gonna like double of this free Rin number nine just continues to be exactly what I want in a fantasy manga it's wonderful obviously watching the anime too the anime is great here is a new one a brand new series number one black Knight parade I saw this in the bookstore and I just thought I I really like the cover and the deep black and gold and how it looked. So that's what got me to pick it up. Read the back, thought it sounded weird, and it was very weird. It was it was very different. It was not exactly what I was expecting. If I judged the book by the cover, I would super not expect this. So it was all right. It was a decent volume one. I think it has a lot of room to grow and room that it can do better with the writing and the setup to be a little less weirdly paced or a little less confusing in some spots. But overall, a decent volume one. I'm definitely going to try volume.
volume two. Kimono Jaihen number eight. Still loving this series. It's very shonen feeling in a lot of ways. So if you like shonens that are closer to seinens, which a lot of awesome manga is in that area, you will like Kimono. Spy Family 10. This one was pretty good. We got a lot of backstory on Lloyd here. No spoilers. Really good. Really sad. Spy Family is still awesome. And I'm wearing that Spy Family merch, obviously. We got Subaki Chow, Lonely Planet, number five. I like these subtle covers. They're still nice. I'm, I'm a big fan of like these greens and turquoise and stuff like that. I really like those. Case Study of Vanitas 10. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is Manga Sloth going to complain about the spines again for Case Study? Well, yes, I am because I don't like how they do the spines. Right now, we're up to four white spines in a row. And then the beginning is just a, a mess. Still, still don't know what is going on there. Oshinoko number four. Continuing on with this series. Look at that person. They are crazy looking. Kageki Shoujo 10. A little bit skimpier, but really, really nice series. Here's one we haven't seen in a little bit. Queen's Quality 18. Really awesome series. I know that some of the early volumes of QQ Sweeper and Queen's Quality, which are the same thing, but I know that some of them are still hard to find. I don't know if they have been reprinted recently, but if you want to try this series, don't give up. They're not out of print. They're just out of stock. So they are in the print realm. So I definitely think everyone should keep this series on their radar. It is great. Speaking of great, coming in from Yen Press is Call the Name of the Night. What a great series so far. Three volumes in, still early. Got that great looking artwork. Really awesome. All right, we're going to show off five manga right here. Now these five manga came from the Mages Emporium. If you want to see more about them in a little more detail and the website, definitely check out the video. I'll have it linked in the description. It's the unboxing. This was a mystery manga box and I got these. I got Special Hazardous Waste Disposal SHWD. I got the Eccentric Doctor of the Moon Flower Kingdom. Let's see, we got Dragon and Ceremony Volume 1. We got My Sister the Cat Volume 1. And then I got My Hero Academia Volume 1. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of variety. Some manga mystery boxes and stuff, they really stink. They're just like not good. And that site has a lot of different ones for shoujo, shonen, vampires, you know, a lot of different ones uh, that you can pick. And then they obviously have the mystery one where you'll get anything and everything. Those, those I'm sure are fun. But this was a nice blob of manga to get. And then I will show off the Eccentric Doctor of the Moonflower Kingdom number two because when we got the volume one from that mystery box, my wife enjoyed it so she wanted to get volume two and here is volume dose. Continuing on, we got Kuma 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 Bear or that is Bear 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 Bear. Number seven, really bummed about this series. Not because it's bad or anything, it is great. I really like this series, kind of like a slice of life. Izakai, they just come out too slow. I'm like, come on. I don't know how long it's been since I got number six, but it was, it had to be closer to a year. And if you said it was over a year, I would not be surprised. The Reincarnated Aristocrat. This one is volume seven. Still really liking this series. Really enjoyable. I'm blazing through these and I'm very happy that they are constantly coming out and they've been coming out a little quicker. Maybe that means they're just playing catch up real quick, but so hope I, hopefully it doesn't slow down. It, it's really awesome so far. Speaking of awesome, we got One Piece One 104. We know what One Piece is. Really awesome volume. Really packed full of a climactic ending to a certain thing and then so many spoilers. I mean spoiler galore. It is great. Here's a new one. The Do Over Damsel Conquers the Dragon Emperor. Volume 1, Yen Press. My wife read it and she liked this volume 1. Are you guys ready for one of the most gritty, dark, masculine, mature content don't show to children under the age of 43 manga? Well, here it is. One of the grittiest seinen's in print now. None other than Skip and Loafer. Dun, dun, dun. Volume eight, great series. Volume eight, great series. Wife really likes this series. And I know a lot of other people who just love it. So 
definitely try out this dark gritty seinen if you want to. Sleepy Horned Witch Romy. This series is great and the art style is super cute and nice. I like it. Definitely need more of these. Another new manga here. This is Witch of Thistle Castle and this is from Titan Manga. I don't know what I have from Titan Manga, but I know I don't have very many. This volume definitely could use another chapter or two. It is a bit on the scampy side, but I do believe my wife liked this manga. Tokyo Babylon, the reprints. This is in the single versions, not the omnibuses. And this is from Yen Press. This was given to me by them. My wife tried out Tokyo Babylon. And then we also had Maiden of the Needle Volume 1. This is Yen Press also. I believe she liked this series. It's hard to remember. There's so many, there's so many new series here. It's easier to remember the ones that you don't like. Those ones stick out. The ones you thought were okay, the ones that were mid the ones that were decent, those are harder to remember. The ones that blew you away and the ones that you definitely disliked, those are just always easier to remember. Another Yen Press title, this one has more hype behind it for sure. This is Bocchi, The Rock, if I'm saying that right. I keep wanting to say Boichi, like the, the artist for Dr. Stone, that guy. My wife liked this volume. Here we go, people, look at this big manga. Oh, that's right, this is a word book. Ew. <laughs> we got a novel here to all you people. To all you people who keep asking, do you guys read novels? Do you own any novels? Do you have any books? Yes, I do. I am the manga sloth, not the novel sloth, not the comic sloth, not the trade paperback sloth, or the hardcover regular book sloth. I am the manga sloth, so I generally show manga. We like manga more, but yes, novels are read, books are read, and comics are read. When you see my collection, you're seeing the manga side. There are shelves upon shelves of comics, trade paperbacks and book books and novels. My wife definitely reads more of them than me and then I definitely read more comics like American comics than my wife. Here we go we got some fatties coming in. We got IZE the remarried empress number four. What a sick looking cover. I like that dark black and filigree. Good series. Here's a new one. Man this is a heavy one. A stepmother's marching. Am I saying that right? That A's got two dots. I'm sure it's not marching. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. This is Seven Seas. Seven Seas is coming in. They're trying to dip in on this, this, you know, Manwa, Jose type, full color, trade looking, expensive volume in the IZE Yen Press space. They want some of that money. Here we have the Essence of Being Amused, number two. This is a nice heckin' solid one. I, I like the, uh, I like the size of this one. Really cool series too. Definitely try this one out if you are wanting something different and cool. Next Next up, we have none other than Tomahawk Angel by name and cover and judging the book alone just by that, it is worth a pickup. I'm talking about Tomahawk Angel here, Dark Horse. Check out this black. Holy smokes, people. Read and try this manga. Look how much darkness is in here. When somebody puts this much ink on the page, you pay attention. Now, the mangaka of Tomahawk Angel is Odysseus Theodoratos. If I'm saying his name correctly, I apologize if I'm not. He is a Greek mangaka, which is super freaking awesome. We need more mangaka all over the world giving us cool manga ideas. This was picked up by Dark Horse and I want to just say right now, I found this. I knew nothing about this. I picked it up from the bookstore and I didn't know, but it was out way before its release. And I picked it up and I read it because it looked heckin' awesome. And I just threw up a story post on my Instagram down below. Definitely check me out. I post a lot of cool stuff there. And I tagged Odysseus and he replied and I was the first person that gave the uh, shout out and first review of his first manga ever. This is his first manga in print so that made me really happy and cool and we talked a little bit and maybe in the future here a little bit I'm gonna interview Odysseus and that'll be super cool so we so make sure if you see this now get your questions ready for a manga cut that'll be sweet we have Sakura Saku if I'm saying that right volume one a new series pretty good I think my wife enjoyed this one here we go not so wicked stepmom IZE press another full color heavy one the first volume of this my wife really liked so obviously we got number dose over geared from IZE IZE Press 2, a lot of IZE Press, IZE Yen Press in this bundle here. Really cool looking manhwa. Excited to check this one out. I'm continuing on with 
the IZE extravaganza here. We got the Boxer number four. This one's a little more well known, especially since it's been out for a little while now. It started off a little slow and I didn't know how much room they had for storytelling, but now I can see the gates are starting to open wide and there's a lot more room that they can go and push through for this series. So I'm enjoying it. Here we have Singumi project number three. And of course we got some damage. This is Kodansha. It comes with damage. And this series has been pretty freaking sweet so far. I definitely, definitely did not know where they were going with this. It seemed like something that they were just gonna like cancel or end. Just, it just felt that way. But it definitely is not and I am liking it. Next we have one of my absolute favorite manga series in print. Land of the Lustrous. This is volume 12. Yes, that's Kodansha and yes, that is damage up there if you can't tell. Of course, it is rare to get a non-damaged Kodansha, especially if you're getting in a store or something. Been a while, it has been a while since we had another Land of the Lustrous, and this one didn't disappoint. Had to kind of get my bearings since I haven't read it in, in over, well over a year. So it was nice that one came out, and I hope the mangaka keeps on churning, and they are safe and healthy, but they keep making us this great manga. Next up, we have Failure Frame number eight of the light novel. This is definitely the most light novels I have ever shown off in a manga haul. And this is a light novel that I don't read. I do not own seven, six, five, four, three, two, or one. Why do I have volume eight? Well, the reason is because I ordered from Crunchyroll and this was not on my order and they sent me it for some reason. I don't know. We're gonna leave that there because we're not done. I also have So I'm a Spider So What, volume six, the last volume in this side story, really good. But I have three volumes. Now you're like, Manga Sloth, did you do what a lot of us usually do sometimes that we don't like? And that's actually add multiple to the cart or accidentally buy two and you forgot you already owned it. Nope, I only bought one. This is the only thing I bought that I got from my Crunchyroll order. I ordered a big order, about $200 of multiple things that were all in stock from Crunchy. And the problem is the only things that shipped separately is I got a separate box with these three, which I only ordered one. So I don't know why they sent me two. And then I got a separate box with this. I read the manga for Failure Frame, but not this. So I contacted Crunchyroll and just long story short, it took almost a month for them to even just get back to me, a human being. They have one of those systems that only goes through email, which is terrible. It's just the absolute absolute worst and I know they're going through a merger and a lot of stuff's going on we'll do a little grain of salt but it was just an absolute mess I guess I'll give these away I mean what am I supposed to do with these come on long story Crunchyroll was a mess I hope if you order from Crunchyroll everything works out better for you here we got jungle juice sounds like some kind of crazy kids beverage you're gonna find in a gas station IZE press this one looks pretty stinking neat with people who were like half animals or something and I don't think they're like animorphs but looks pretty cool then we have villains are destined to die number five this one I know people just go cray cray for if they had stacks on stacks of this they'd be reading it every day all day people love this series and my wife does too and why stop now let's just keep showing off Izzy e and Yen press these big expensive volumes why Raylania ended up in the Duke's mansion number five five of these already really good series here we got an oldie but a heck of goodie food Shigi Yugi in the Viz Big Chunk Editions here. This is when they made these beautiful editions with like sparkling names and everything. I'll show you the covers of these. Now I bought these for my wife and as you can see Mr. and Mrs. Manga Sloth. I bought these off of Marg Reads Manga. She is another manga tuber. We got her bookmark with the QR code. I don't know if it'll work on here but you can pause and take a picture of that. A thank you letter that says truly thank you so much for giving my manga a new loving home. Fushigi Yugi is my all-time favorite anime. Happy reading from Marg. My wife is a fan of Fushigi Yugi and wanted to own them, so I seen that she had them for sale and I got them. But but let's take a second and look at these stickers. These are great. Manga Freakathon, awesome sticker. Shonen Junkie, oh that's me, that's me. Oh snap, this one's awesome. Shoujo Brat, come on. It's an add, a, <laughs> it's an add to the cart kind of day. That might be. 
every day for me. And then we got Otaku Tuesday, which you should check out. I am on there sometimes. It is a live stream where manga tubers talk about what's going on in the manga world. So let's look at these Fushigi Yugi's. Now this is one through six. This is complete for the main Fushigi Yugi stuff. These are such nice volumes. I really wish Viz would uh, do these more often. These are great. I really, really like these. They're definitely higher quality. Here we go. Here's number six. So real happy to own these, have them in the collection, and my wife will be very happy to read and have those. Next up, we have Junji Ito Tomes, and this is the hardcover Kino Kinuya Special Edition. I think it has a different spine, and I think the covers may be a little different, the color. And then it comes with this here too, which is kind of cool. We have Wave Listen to Me number 10 by the creator of Blade of the Immortal, of course. Really insanely good series. Got Record of Ragnarok number 8. Just an action-packed, fun, good time. Here I got 6, 7, and 8 of Dorhe Doro from SciFire.com. Definitely check them out in the description. Use the code THEMANGASLA to get 10% off your order every single time. Great deals, great place, and great people. And speaking of them, I got a Chainsaw Man box set. And this is my second Chainsaw Man box set. And this is a giveaway that was provided to me from SciFire. Very kind of them. Keeping going here, we got saving 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement. I kind of like this one. It's like semi slice of life, politically kind of a little bit of everything, but I, I really like this one so far. And then the summer Hikaru died, number two. Volume one was decent. I think in my opinion, volume two was worse than volume one. It just, it wasn't very exciting. I, I, I understand what they're doing and where they're going with it, but it felt a little slow. So ho hopefully the plot opens up a little bit more and, and it just keeps being creepy. Another chunk of manga here is Attack on Titan. When's the last time I had an Attack on Titan in a haul? It has been a long time. Probably since the main series complete. This is before the fall, one, two, six through 16. Now, for some reason, I own three, four, and five, and I remember getting them, but uh, I don't know where I placed them. So just pretend they're in this haul too. I think 17 is the last one, so I got to get that one. So I'll just show these off real quick. Cool series. If you are an Attack on Titan fan like most of us, this is one that you definitely want to try and read if you have not already. Get you that Attack on Titan dopamine rush that you need. I'm an Udon ambassador now, and they sent me some cool merch. You saw my Spy Family shirt. We got this cool big Street Fighter collector's pin. That is a cool pin. Got this Street Fighter comic evolution special. Pretty sweet. Then we got some new manga. We got Team Phoenix Volume 1 from Udon. Looks pretty cool. Then we got Robotics Notes Volume 1. A nice well-made omnibus. I really like this. And this series looks pretty sweet. Excited to try that out. And they gave me Volume 2 of it also. So if I even remotely like it, I get to try two volumes in one. That's freaking awesome. Then I got Record of Lodos War. I've seen or heard of this series before and I don't know anything about it. Just kind of like seeing it. I really, really like how they do the covers and spines of these. This is one through three. It just looks so good. I really, really like the use of colors and how they match and stuff. Enjoy that faux show. Please, please do me a favor, everyone looking. Look down at the subscribe button and please hit subscribe. It's going to light up and shine. It helps me out so much. You help support the channel. And leave me a comment down below. How's your day going? What are you reading? Did you like anything in this haul? You want to try anything out? How's the weather where you live? Let me know. I love talking to you all. And I will see you all next time.